I've been to a, a lot of different manufacturing plants and um, everyone kind of shows you the same thing. You walk in, they've got their little samples and you go to a, a messy looking plant and an ugly looking lab. And, um, and when we built our plant, we, th we really wanted every piece of the plant to say something about our business. We want our lab to speak about the orderliness of our process. We wanted the, uh, the building itself to say this is a solid company. And um, I had an idea about eight months ago to put what I call the museum. Now, people don't like that term. They like to call it a showroom. But for me, it was really uh, an idea to create an experience other than anything I'd seen before. I wanted people to come into this environment and really be focused just on the things that you can do with polymer chemistry, with coatings uh, and things that we make here. The museum shows 43 different what I'll call exhibits and each of them are unique in that they combine different chemistries. You know, We use the term polymer coatings, uh, polymer being a general term. Um, they're not necessarily just epoxies or urethanes, they're combinations of epoxies and urethanes and MMAs and you know slurry systems and mortar systems and uh, flexible you know systems. So it's a huge uh, group when you say polymer. And and what we're trying to show people is within this building, there's a ton of solutions for you to offer your customer. It's all computerized lighting, it has an audio tour, so you can take a self-guided tour if you want. You you can take somebody through it, a group. Um, it's kind of hard just to show a picture because it's about uh, the way you know these things are put together, how they lead one to another, and there's a lot of good information in in the uh, text uh, as it as the narrators talk through each exhibit about what these systems do, what they accomplish, where they should be used, where they shouldn't be used. Take a shot. Don't fall. Don't worry about your knees. This state-of-the-art fluid applied sports surface is designed to provide a higher level of safety than was previously available in sports surfaces. Its urethane structure helps absorb impact and helps even distribute the force across the horizontal matrix of the system. Then it doesn't hurt so much when you fall down. I think at the Rock Trade Institute, what's really neat is that you come and you see how the, each component is made in our state-of-the-art factory, and then you go to the classroom and you talk about the theory of why it was created and then you go with the wet materials and you actually get your hands on to touch it, feel it, smell it, all that. But then you actually get to go into the museum section and see the examples of a finished product. So the idea is, you know, look what we have, look what you can do and look at the applications and how it looks when it's done. And I think that is really a neat thing um, that we've brought, uh, basically a 360 complete start to finish life cycle of, of the products that we make and how they go into finished products and solve customer problems.